What next, Martin O'Neill, up in Scotland? Of course, a place you know well, a place you used to work, managing the mighty Glasgow Celtic, who currently find themselves two points adrift of Rangers. Rangers on 67 points, Celtic on 65. Simon, we often say it, but we have a title race on in Scotland. <clears throat> and that can only be good for Scottish football fans, right? Yeah, very much so. I mean, Rangers seem to be in the groove. Yep. I mean, they are yet to overcome Celtic in the league. And that if they can do that and they can win this league. I mean, when are they they're playing in in April, I think, aren't they? Yeah. Um, um is it or is it nearer to then? But the point Two all firm games to be played. Yeah. Yeah. So I look at it and think to myself, this is a fast I mean, Philip Clement has come in there and done a job. And I'm not surprised because he exuded the position that I often say that other people haven't done, which is he looked like a person that had um meaning um and looked like a leader. And it's no surprise to me that Rangers have come on like a train. And, you know, they win, what did they win, 4-0 on the weekend? Uh, they, they beat Hearts 5-0. 5-0. Uh, yeah, they yeah. won 5-0. Five, five <clears throat> and Celtic went to Motherwell and won three by one. three goals yeah. to one. Martin, how do you, for those listening, just before we get into the nuts and bolts of the, this current title race, how intense does it get? I mean, the, the, the competition between these two great clubs... I don't know how you and I would go to describing it to anybody who's never been up there, never witnessed a, an old firm game. That's not to exclude the likes of Aberdeen and the rest who would love to be part mm -hmm. of that scene, but they're not. It's all about Celtic and Rangers. Um, how would you describe that rivalry, if you like, between these two great clubs? Well, it's fierce. It's absolutely fierce. There's no question about it. It has uh, it's been going on for a, quite a number of years and it is really, really intense when you... Um, when you know the game is coming up at the week, your your uh, focus is it's it's right there. It's, you talk about hundred percent focus. It's probably even greater than that there if it's such a thing. But uh, the the games are their games are big, and I think it's I think to tell people outside that there, I think you have to you have to have some sort of relevance. It's interesting there. You know, Ancelotti, one of the great great managers of the game, um, took his team there just re uh, recently to Celtic Park, and he said that you know. The atmosphere was just incredible, absolutely incredible. As for a European nights, European nights at Celtic Park are are just they're off the scale. They're off they? the scale. Yeah. There's no question about yeah. it. And so are the Rangers games. The only thing I I, I said that what what has lost a little bit in the matches now is that the the away fans are, can can participate and can't go to the games. Outside that, there it's. Uh, I know Celtic and Rangers. If they were in the big league, which is not going to happen, but if they're in the big league, Celtic could go from sixty thousand to eighty-five thousand overnight. Yeah. And if it looked like Rangers when you were at Celtic, if it looked like Rangers were getting the upper hand, how much did you feel the pressure? How much did were you, did you sense the outside noise? Of course, you. It's it's very difficult not to, you know, because you're talking about newspapers there. You if you you don't mind going to a back page, but when it's actually a, about fifteen back pages, then you you know that it's it's a it's a major thing. Yeah. At the moment then, as I say, it's nip and tuck between the two. And Rangers lead the way. Not by much, but they lead the way. At the weekend, it looked like, it looked like, I emphasise, Celtic were going to draw at Motherwell. But then Celtic got two very late goals after the 90 minutes and they won the game to their credit by three goals to one. But I want your take on this, Martin. It was a somewhat spiky, prickly Brendan, it would seem, who got into a bit of a to and fro post-match. Like I say, there's a story being written about this group. Uh, so, uh, but we will write our own story. Can you give no. us a bit more? You can't give no, us. You don't want no. to give us a bit more insight no. into that and what you mean no. by that. No, no, no. You know exactly what I mean. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm actually not sure. I do exactly know, know okay. what you mean. Okay. Can you can you tell no. us? People might be interested to know. To, to no, no. But but you but you're the one that's bringing that yes, up. Absolutely. So so, I, so can you not give okay. us some more on it? Done. Good girl. Done. Well done. Cheers. <laughs> there you go. He's done. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> oh gee. Wow. And that was that. Martin, um, there's a story being written about this group, but we will write our own story. Mm. What do you think he's saying there? I think my take on that there is that uh, Celtic have been dominant for so long now that uh, that people start to think that Rangers now have not only closed the gap, but actually gone past them. And and you, you, you're talking about the immediate aftermath of a game that Celtic have won, by the way. Uh, didn't play so well in the first half, but came roaring back, won the game, which is the most important thing because the gap could have stayed at five points, level games, suddenly it's back to two. 
and uh, and there's a title race on, which is actually from from an outside viewpoint, it's actually good for the for the game in Scotland. However, I think what Brendan meant was that you know people are rushing to conclusions here, or, or uh, rush to judgment, I should say. That is an, uh, uh, almost the feeling of that that Rangers are going to overtake them this season, and that they have their own story still to write. I think that's right, and I'm actually pleased as well too that he get a bit prickly, you know, because I'm telling you, you know, you, you, the press guys do you do your brain in at times. They're, they're they're looking for it. They're looking for something. Listen. Are there interviews that I've done that I've regretted? Only about fifteen thousand, I think. You know, <laughs> so uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and you sit down, you go down a route, and then you think to yourself, "Well, where's this going?" And I, I, I have got to say, I was really pleased that you got prickly about it. Well, well you got prickly about it, but I mean, did he have to, Mark? Uh, to be honest, Simon, did he have to? Had he not answered it the way Martin has just given his his take on it? If he'd answered it like that, there is a narrative, right? So answered that it like what? Be... Like what? I, I would have, I would have done just, the same thing. You would have said the same thing as him. I think I would have done the same thing. Absolutely, you know. What, chip the, chip well, the shoulder type answer. Pardon? Chip in the shoulder type yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done that. Before. Why? Yeah, because I feel as if, oh, hold on, you are trying to write something here. There's still a number of games left. We can win this league. We can do it. I think that's the point he was trying to get at. If I, if it's a different point, then I'm, then, then I'm. Yeah, but Martin, hang on. If you'd said there's a story being written about this group, but we will write our own story, I might have said to you, "Well, what's the story being written about your group, and what is your own story that you're going to write?" Yeah. What's well, up with okay. That? Well, if I didn't have an immediate answer, I would have just answered the way Brendan did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Too bad. I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> but you've just admitted you know what was behind the question. You know what I think I know. What I think I know. Well, Brendan probably yeah. started the conversation thinking I'm going to answer this way, and then he thought better of it in the middle of his sentence because he probably thinks exactly what Martin has just said. Metaphorically, you guys are writing a narrative, mm. right? And there's a different narrative to be to be played out. And then he starts to have the conversation. He's irritated by na- either yeah. the nature of the questioning, the, the direction it's going in, or whatever's been written in the recent weeks. He's got irritated about it. And now he's decided to take the conversation, and then he thinks in the middle of the conversation... Ah, sod it, I can't be bothered. I'm not giving you headlines. Mm. I'm not going to give you what you want. So I don't necessarily... I think if you've opened it, you should close and it. And is that fair, do you think? Mm. You know, is there well, ever a okay, time, Martin, fair, the media, the, fair, as in the media, you should who? say... Fair to who? I oh, sod it, I can't be bothered asking you. But that's your You job. know that, Brian, I can't be bothered asking you. Just yeah. as he's just described. But that's not that the... that's... That maybe Brendan thought that. No, nah, I can't be bothered. No, 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 no. That. That's not the point no. I made. That's not the point I made at all. The what point did you I made. The point I made was is that you know what the journalist is going to do with your answer. And you what's know, he going to do with the answer? Well, he's going to create a headline Quote out of it. it. He's going to create a headline out of it. And how many times do we read articles where the headline does not represent the subject matter of the interview, or it's taken out of context, or it's taken out of... Uh, and there's no nuance no, 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 That's not fair. So the reason, that's so not so fair. So there is a deep you, You're guessing that deep, the journalist would then take it deep, out of context. I, pff, my word. And not a guess. It's a bleeding fact. Really? You watch it doing endlessly in every walk of life. There's a deep-seated distrust between people that are the ah, subject of the media and the media yeah. and t- there's a way to behave and there's a way not to behave so and I think that certain journalists have a viewpoint which is they're more interested in getting something that they think is valuable rather than exploring what the person means Simon is absolutely he's, he's right he is right I was asked a question uh, when I was the manager of the Republic of Ireland and we got beaten well beaten at uh, by Denmark in a playoff game in a playoff match to go to the World Cup, having qualified for the Euros two a couple of uh, years earlier, and I asked the question: of that, Was that defeat a sackable offence? Well, you're obviously, you, you, I know it comes out of the blue. So I think to myself: Wait, wait a minute, where are you going with this? Mm. And I had to try and explain, very poorly, I think I probably did. Probably this not. Was, you deal that, with it well. That, that this was actually a playoff game, and that the winners of this particular match. Would actually go to the uh, to the World Cup in Russia, mm. something that the Republic of Ireland haven't done for quite some considerable time, you know. So I understand, and this is the point. So Brendan Simon's absolutely spot on. He's gone down a route. He's answered a couple of questions probably earlier than that there, and he thought, well, would it be a minute? Hold on, and it's starting to build a little bit. They're talking about performance. They're not talking about results. Celtic won the game. Yeah, they fought back to win the game. Yeah, I th- I think it's all about. The manager on the other side of it. You're very experienced, Martin. You know how to deal with the media. No, 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 no. Brendan's no, very I, experienced. No. He knows how to deal with the media. But if Brendan says in an open news conference, "There's a story being written about this group," but we'll write our own story. I think it's perfectly legitimate to follow it up with, 
What's the story being written about no, your group? No, no one's disputing that. But, but you're, and but that's you're, what Jane Lewis of the but, BBC but, but, did. But, but, but no, you're, no one, you're, you're crossing, and then was, and then but you're, was told. But you're crossing metaphors. That's it. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. You're, you're crossing metaphors. Good girl. No yeah. one, Which is but another no, story. But no, but no one said that. Yeah. No one said that. What, 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 what did no one say? No one has said that she shouldn't follow the question up with an answer. He made a statement. She did her job. No one's questioning that. What we're questioning is the nature of the relationship as to the reasons why Brendan's gone, no, I'm not giving you that. I don't want to give you that. I may mm. have opened it. I'm now. I'm thinking in camera. Mm. I'm actually going to do this. No, I'm not going to give you this because I know where it's going. If I say something that I that, that I have a view about, you guys got an agenda. Mm. You guys are. You're going to put. Who's got an agenda? Yeah. No, no, you're not listening to what you're I'm saying. Yeah. The media are. He he believes that the media are writing a narrative that Celtic are are done and yeah. finished, right? And he doesn't want to give them an opportunity to turn around and say to them, I think this is your agenda. I think what you're trying to do is you're not concentrating on my win, you're concentrating on the fact that Rangers... Go talk to... If you want to talk about Rangers, mm. go talk to Bleeding Rangers. So why didn't he say that? Because maybe he thought better of it, because he knows... That, what's, what's that old expression? The pen is mightier than the sword. Mm. That's the reasons why, because once you give, once you open the box on something, and, they, and and there's no determination about giving it context or nuance, the journalist will write what he thinks is the best mm. headline to get the attraction, and there'll be no nuance, no context, no balance, because it's not suited. So Brendan will go. If Brendan said, "Here's not my," suited, it, it, not, it, suited here's by, my it, not suited by who? The journalist. Mm. No, Simon, you miss it. You miss the point. You don't get it. <clears throat> This journalist oh, in this instance, it. this journalist in this instance is not asking the question in the knowledge of the answer she's going to get. She's legitimately no. asking a follow-up question. You're, you're missing question. the context. His, his reaction is, why are you guys peddling a narrative about what Rangers are doing and Celtic are done? Rangers were not mentioned rather, in it. Well, there must well, be... Well, well but the, come on. there was an inference. That's the that's the point. Yeah, come on. And I, I'm absolutely with Simon in this point. You Are you saying then it's not with... The, so... So Brendan should stay there forevermore to 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 answer the question again and to keep answering and then to explain what he's saying and then to explain what he meant to explain what he meant, yeah. Judy. And he has got no right whatsoever to walk out halfway through the interview or, not, or, or not, three quarters through that, the interview or nine tenths of the interview. Don't, don't leave done. us all when we're all hanging. Well, no, this there's is a story per, being written about this group. We'll write our own story. Is That's it? great. What is the story being written about yeah, your group? Okay. Okay, and he's he hasn't bothered answering. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it for me. And then say good girl at the end. And Brennan, I'm, I'm sure it meant nothing of that. It, in no way did it did he mean to make it sound patronising. Although there's a narrative building that it was Again, somewhat oh, patronising. Well, yeah. another narrative Absolutely. being created yeah. Yeah, by well, those that have an agenda. Yeah, that will turn it into all. Uh, uh, oh, here he is being condescending and patronising woman. A bit like when you know Brian Clough turned around to Don Revy in the middle of a famous interview and said, "Good lad, mm-hmm. this has expression." Yeah. You know, and now that no, you know, you, 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 no, no, it's crap. Yeah, I mean, that was it's, many years ago. That doesn't make any difference. But in this, I would quite like to have heard Brendan maybe elaborate a bit on I'm, what I'm sure you. Said. But there's a good reason um, why you're you're missing the point. Is is a good reason why he didn't want to, mm. and you're refusing to but acknowledge don't throw it out there, then. The, What maybe maybe he don't shouldn't have done. Out there, then. But maybe there should be a better relationship between how the media represent what people say rather than what the media want to represent what they think. Someone said, unreal. Unreal. We'll you're, outna- to, you're outnumbered here. We'll agree yeah, to yeah, you're outnumbered. You're outnumbered. One, two, one. Yeah, you're outnumbered here. Really? Yes. Yeah. Well, I would have done what Jane Lewis and the audience, quite rightly and did the audience. on the I'm, BBC. I'm Simon, the deal is this. Our job is to ask the questions. Their job is to answer the questions. And on this occasion, Brendan chose to shut it down. And to report them fairly and balanced and objectively without agenda. What are you mumbling about? I wasn't mumbling. I was All a right. clear statement. Yeah. Good. There was no mumble report behind it. Fairly and balanced and good. Correct. 20 past 12. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.